The International Development Law Organization is an intergovernmental organization dedicated to the promotion of the rule of law. With a joint focus on the promotion of rule of law and development, it works to empower people and communities to claim their rights and provides governments with the know-how to realize them. It supports emerging economies and middle-income countries to strengthen their legal capacity and rule-of-law framework for sustainable development and economic opportunity. It is the only intergovernmental organization with an exclusive mandate to promote the rule of law and has experience working in more than 170 countries around the world. IDLO is headquartered in Rome, Italy and has a branch office in The Hague and is one of a number of entities that a United Nations General Assembly observers. The only intergovernmental organization with an exclusive mandate to promote the rule of law, IDLO has operated in over 170 sovereign states, focusing on institution building and legal empowerment. Its alumni network includes more than 20,000 legal professionals in 175 countries and 46 independent alumni associations. IDLO has signed mouse with United Nations agencies, governments, universities, and other entities. Major financial contributions to IDLO have come from the Australian Agency for International Development, Gates Foundation. Centre for International Forestry Research, European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, European Union, Ford Foundation, Deutsche Gesellschaft für International Zusammenarbeit, International Fund for Agricultural Development, Institute of Medicine, Q8 Fund for Arab Economic Development, OPEC Fund for International Development, United Nations Development Programme, and UNICEF as well as numerous countries namely Canada, China, Denmark, France, Ireland, Italy, Netherlands, Sweden, Switzerland, United Kingdom, and the United States. Irene Khan is the Director General of IDLO. History Originally founded in 1983 as an NGO called the International Development Law Institute, which aimed to provide training and technical assistance to developing countries. It was re-founded as an intergovernmental organization international convention ratified in 1991 and renamed the International Development Law Organization. In 2001 IDLO was granted permanent observer status at the United Nations. In 2013 IDLO opened a branch office in The Hague. Governance there are currently 27 member party states, the most recent country to become a member being El Salvador. The parties to IDLO's establishment agreement are Afghanistan, Australia, Austria, Bulgaria, Burkina Faso, China, Ecuador, Egypt, El Salvador, France, Italy, Jordan, Kenya, Kuwait, Mozambique, Netherlands, Norway, OPEC Fund for International Development, Paraguay, Peru, Philippines, Romania, Senegal, Sudan, Tunisia, Turkey, USA, Governance Structure Assembly of Parties Member Party States form the Assembly of Parties, IDLO's highest decision-making body. Kuwait currently sits as president of the Assembly of Parties while the U.S. has won the vice president post. The role of the Assembly is to determine the IDLO's policies and oversee the work of the Director General. Director General Irene Khan is the current Director General, the first woman to hold the office. She was elected by member parties on 17 November 2011 and took up her position formally on 1 January 2012 for a term of four years. International Advisory Council IDLO's International Advisory Council is composed of Abdul Latif Al-Hamad, Chairman and CEO, Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development, Abdo Jouf, former President of the Republic of Senegal, William H. Gates, Sr., Co-Chair, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Thomas R. Pickering, former United States Ambassador and Under Secretary of State, Mary Robinson, former UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, 
Orbi Sachs, former Justice, Constitutional Court of South Africa, work. Idealo has worked in more than 170 countries around the world, working with the belief that justice means ensuring fair outcomes in concrete, local terms. Somalia Idealo has been working in Somalia for the last 30 years, providing training to Somali legal professionals and technical assistance to the judiciary. Somali Prime Minister, Dr. Abdiweli Muhammad Ali has called IDLO, a premier institution that is supporting Somalia on its journey to peace and stability. In recent years, IDLO has worked on supporting the development of a Somali constitution and in the integration of customary justice. In 2011 IDLO created an assessment of traditional and customary justice arguing that linking customary and traditional justice in a bottom-up approach would be most effective. Financed by the Italian government, IDLO worked with local experts on the country's provisional constitution, holding consultative sessions with Mogadishu residents, refugees, and the Somali diaspora. Towards the adoption of the constitution, IDLO helped produce a comparative analysis of the new draft constitution. The Constitution of 1960 and the Transitional Federal Charter of 2004 and supported the Constitutional Affairs and Reconciliation Ministry in hosting a Conference on Fundamental Rights and Transitional Justice. Following the adoption of the Constitution by the National Constitution Assembly on 1 August 2012 IDLO drafted a report on providing analysis and suggestions for justice and security development under the new constitutional order. The report provides a description of steps to be taken during the implementation phase of the constitution, including the establishment of institutions, development and revision of legislative frameworks, and capacity building. It also sketches out dispute resolution mechanisms of the three legal systems in Somalia, Zia, Sharia, and the statutory judicial comparing the draft constitution to those from 53 of the 56 member states of the Organization of the Islamic Cooperation, as well as the constitutions of Italy and the United States of America. IDLO found that it contained 36 of the 45 fundamental rights, placing it in the top five of the countries surveyed. The organization also stated that the Somali draft constitution contained 15 more than the Constitution of the United States of America. Afghanistan IDLO has been active in Afghanistan since 2002, stating their intent has been to restore rule of law in the country and develop a new idea of justice while respecting the principles of Islam. Primarily Afghan staff have been used to train legal professionals in the country. Following a survey taken by the IDLO in 2013 which found that women made up just over 8% of the country's judges, 6% of prosecutors and less than one-fifth of lawyers, IDLO's Director General Irene Khan called for greater participation of women in the Afghanistan's justice sector women's rights whilst the Constitution of Afghanistan offers protection to women. Domestic and sexual violence are common and considered a family matter, dealt through informal justice systems composed of male elders. In June 2009, IDLO launched Afghanistan's first Violence Against Women Unit, with support from the Office of the Attorney General of Afghanistan. IDLO reports that in 2010 the unit handled more than 300 cases. In December 2010 the U.S. Department of State's Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs contributed $12.1 million to expand and improve legal aid, services to the poor and disempowered, increase public awareness of legal issues, rights and services, and improve the investigation and prosecution of crimes against women and girls. On the 11th of April 2013 INL announced it would provide IDLO a further $59 million for programs in Afghanistan, $47 million to fund IDLO implement training programs for the Afghan justice sector, the Justice Training Transition Program, and another $12. 
$1.8 million for a separate IDLO program to provide support and training for prosecution of crimes against women. Allegations of lack of oversight In January 2014 the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction released a report highlighting it believed there to be a lack of oversight requirements in INL's 2013 contract with IDLO in relation to JTTP. SIGAR had previously warned of a lack of monitoring in an alert letter to the State Department sent to the State Department on July 22, 2013. The letter also accused IDLO of refusing to provide SIGAR with information regarding its budget organizational structure and financial relationship with the U.S. government. In response to SIGAR's 2013 statement, State Department Deputy Spokeswoman Marie Half said that there were no allegations or evidence of fraud, waste or mismanagement in the program and that oversight was provided through daily contact on the ground. In a letter responding to SIGAR's claims, INL highlighted mechanisms of accountability and stated their confidence in the IDLO program. In a statement posted on their website IDLO called the Monitoring and Evaluation Mechanisms, robust and extensive, IDLO also refuted SIGAR's statement that it had refused to provide information writing that they had met with SIGAR staff in April. April and May 2013. South Sudan IDLO provided the newly established country of South Sudan with technical legal assistance, training the judiciary in both the fundamentals of common law in during the process of transition away from a Sharia-based legal system in legal English. With funding from the European Union in 2014, IDLO scaled up their work in South Sudan delivering a series of context-specific training courses to 150 newly appointed judges and judicial support staff. IDLO also stated it was providing technical assistance in drafting a permanent constitution for South Sudan. Kenya working with constitutional scholars Zachary Elkins and Tom Ginsberg. IDLO sponsored a group of constitutional scholars from universities in America to review drafts of the Kenyan constitution and provide feedback to the Kenyan parliament. In 2013, USAID partnered with IDLO to assist the government of Kenya develop the comprehensive laws and policies required under the new constitution, assisting the Kenyan parliament in reviewing, analyzing and passing 55 laws, including 16 required by the constitution. Investigators in the project used data and analyzed from over 3,000 constitutions in the world to share with Kenya's Commission for the implementation of the Constitution and analysis of the constitutional implementation process. IDLO also implemented projects to strengthen the capacity of the judiciary and engage the public in the process. IDLO has also stated that they are working with the government of Kenya to advance gender equality across the country and enact gender provisions. Contained in the Constitution an independent report found commissioned by IDLO found that its work in Kenya had provided support and services were delivered to fulfill identified needs co and ensured the delivery trainings to educate Kenyans on the proposed constitution before it was put to a national referendum. Despite some challenges, the report notes, IDLO consultants produced and delivered high-quality technical reports and services which eventually contributed to the final version of the Constitution of Kenya Aline Gilland, supporting the Committee of Experts on CCN's Institutional Review, retrieved 25 January 2011. A permanent IDLO regional office was set up in Kenya in 2011. Women and girls in a speech at the Graduate Institute of International and Development Studies in Geneva. Director General Irene Khan highlighted the importance of law in empowering women. A core principle of the rule of law is that we are all equal.
equal, equally protected by the law and equally accountable to it. The organization's website states that across all of its programs, IDLO works to empower women. In February 2013 IDLO released a report on women's access to justice, with a focus on improving customary justice for women. Customary justice IDLO has a number of times, including at the UN, emphasized the importance of working with informal or customary justice systems and has released three edited volumes on customary justice.